Hi, thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. This video covers the ultimate guide to UAE royalty and ultra high net worth investors in the UAE. This is the first time that I've been able to present this particular database and it's one that has been prepared for a corporate and institutional group in Dubai. Um, it is part of a larger research uh, piece and as I get into it you'll understand a little bit about the concept of what they wanted the database for and what they plan to use it for. It is not the typical type of a database of investors that you may see available. It is really a specialized database that's going to be used for specific uh, capital raises for uh, people in the UAE. So this database includes two parts. One is the 130 key royal family contacts uh, that we were able to determine uh, from research using this database and other sources. And this includes the profiles of the top royal family investors. And the second part is 7,500 key UAE investor profiles. Now these are UAE nationals. Now to set it up a little bit, uh, in the past few years there have been about 45,000 UAE nationals that bought the most of the property uh, in that uh, category. And we're talking basically the freehold property in Dubai. Um, and although there's been a large amount, uh, the, the, the multiple purchase and purchasers of high net, high value properties, uh, so you could categorize these as either high net worth or ultra high net worth investors. In fact, the, the split between high net worth and ultra high net worth is probably going to be two thirds of them are going to be of the high net worth and one third of them are in the ultra high net worth categories. So let's get a bit of information regarding how this database was put together and why. So this exclusive database of investors offers a comprehensive and high quality resource focusing on verified high net worth and ultra high net worth UAE nationals who are prominent investors. So these are verified and they come off of larger data sets of investors so there is no issue there. Now, what I've done is I've created the profile. So each profile provides essential information, including key investment sectors, detailed investor backgrounds, and strategic focus areas. The database includes one, verified ultra high net worth investors. This is the files of 7,500 affluent UAE nationals actively involved in major investment sectors, such as real estate, health, logistics, retail, and renewable energy, and more. Uh, detailed in done is I've scraped a lot of the internet. You're going to get to the sources a little bit later. Um, and also use other research data that I have and that the client provided for me. So what I've done is I've created the best of both worlds. So each profile highlights their investment focus areas providing in-depth insights into sectors where these in investors are active including their contributions to high profile projects. A lot of times research is just used by thinking about what their background is. Um, I've used key investor keywords in the database, so I've provided that for this client. Um, keywords summarizing each investor's primarily business interests such as logistics, mixed use developments, retail complex complexes or healthcare facilities, allowing for quick identification of potential partners based on specific investment needs. Now that's something that should be noted is that doesn't necessarily mean that these investors will not look outside the sectors it just means for the purpose of this exercise we're really kind of drilling it down into those uh, key ones now, other key investor details additional information including geographic focus significant projects and affiliations providing a foundation for targeting and outreach now this database is an invaluable tool for organizations seeking to engage investors for large-scale opportunities mainly including real estate ventures and other financial instruments. It offers initial sophisticated research crucial for developing deeper investor relationships and long-term sourcing strategies. So it should be noted that this database is just the first step for the client or for you if you're interested in taking a look at it. So it basically sets the tone gets you started with a large data set of key points and then you're going to be able to whittle that down, narrow the focus down 
uh, within your own organization. No database is 100% perfect, but this is the most uh, sophisticated database of UAE nationals uh, that has been provided on the market. Again, that's why it's only for institutional and corporate grade clients. So now we're going to look at the database sources, a bit of disclosure, and again, clients who qualify. So the sources are, when I've taken all the information, keep in mind that not only do I have years and years of real estate data, um, but the client also had some that was privy to myself only, um, and that's how we created this data set. So the sources, well, known market uh, intelligence related to investments in the UAE, um, social media platforms, online business publications, online news reports, government websites, financial reporting websites, and other online forms and resources. So when this database was created, um, there was a lot of information used, which also adds that it's going to have maybe a little bit of error in it for dates and that sort of thing. So we'll get into that a little bit later. So as far as the key disclosure is, this database is a result of thorough research using both publicly available sources such as market intelligence, online business publications, government websites, news reports, as well as a private information provided by clients. So it's got the best of both worlds in it. Now, while the data is intended to support the sophisticated teams in refining investor profiles, users should note that some of the information may be privileged or are client specific. All data should be handed handled responsibly and with due respect for its confidential nature. So basically what it's important to know in a database like this is, um, and when I get to the spreadsheet, you're going to be able to t uh, understand a little bit more about it, is it collects everything. And so it doesn't discriminate on an article about the particular investor four years ago as opposed to four days ago. Um, and also because of the nature of the names, there could be a little bit of slippage in regard to um, a particular name that uh, um, has four names uh, where the data was scraped and it only picked up three of them. So again, it's only to start this uh, client off, but it is still represents the best database of high net worth and ultra high net worth UAE nationals that you're ever going to find. So it's a great resource. Again, who qualifies for this database? It's really simple corporate and institutional groups. Um, either you know you're one of those or you're not. So just keep that in mind. If you try to approach me for this database, I'm going to make sure that you can provide that sort of information. So let's take a look at the databases. So now we're over on the spreadsheet part and I'm going to show you two sheets. One is the UAE Royals and then the next one is the UAE high net worth and ultra high net worth database. Um, they consist of different data and formats um, due to the size and what's involved. So starting off with the Royals as mentioned in the early part, um, we have data for 100 and about 134 uh, UAE nationals uh, and again I don't have to go over the source and how they were collected. You saw it in the early part of the video. If you missed that part, just go back and watch the full video. Um, and what I've done is just cut off their names here for confidentiality reasons. Um, and so what I've done is I've created the profiles um, through known data. Same with current roles. Uh, again, this is information that is uh, available. Um, it's just that this particular way of formatting the database makes it easier. What I've also done is if they have a known company affiliation, uh, I've also included it, um, whether they're chairman or board members of companies. Now, private offices, I get asked uh, pretty much every week about private offices for UAE nationals. Um, they're hard to find. There are very few of them. This database will certainly start uh, someone off if they're looking to do research on that. I've got a few of them here on this list. Uh, again, that's something that is more specialized and takes somebody, it's a full-time job for somebody uh, doing research for family offices in the UAE. Um, now, associated companies as well, if they have associated companies, uh, some of these uh, royals do have their own web pages, uh, websites, which I consider um, an associated company or the closest thing to a family office. 
uh, if there isn't one listed available. I can tell you that from past history uh, of knowing uh, how family offices in the UAE uh, work, other than the two or three large ones that are on the tip of everybody's tongue, um, a lot of them are just hidden in very small, uh, undescript buildings that they may own. It may be an office with just a nameplate saying uh, ABC uh, Investments or whatever the case may be. So they're not easy to find, uh, but the best way is to try to go through their uh, main companies. Uh, now, the other information I've just blocked off, which is more confidential information that uh, is only available to corporate and institutional groups, contact me. Um, and I've got some more information about some other recent investments, mainly on the property side. So that covers off the UAE National Royals. We're going to now look at the larger segment of the database, and this is part of it that has taken um, probably the better part of the last couple of months for me to create. I'm going to spend a fair bit of time on it because these are the creme de la creme of the UAE national investors. Um, now again, uh, this database uh, of investors comes off of a much larger data set um, of hundreds of thousands of transactions, then filtering down to UAE nationals, then filtering down to people who have made the most investments. Again, uh, this list here has 7,500 contacts uh, and you can see here if I scroll down to them we're at 7500 and they are verified investors in UAE they uh, uh, purchased uh, property uh, in most in cases in this list multiple properties again there's about 45,000 transactions that this database was used for uh, and we've come up with 7,500. So that basically means that the majority of these people on this list have purchased multiple properties. Probably if you're looking at around uh, $2.9 million per property at the bare minimum in, in, the, in most cases. So these are, uh, again, about one third of them fall into the ultra high net worth category as far as investors. So what I've done is I've got their names and the names are their legal verified names. Um, so in many cases, you're going to see three or four or five names sometimes applied to the person. Um, and I've included their profiles. So basically, even if I just clicked on one of them here, um, you're going to see that uh, it will give basic information about that particular uh, investor. And again, these are all public profiles. Um, so there's nothing here that is confidential or hidden. Uh, they are, for the most part, leading UAE nationals. And the good thing about this database is it's including the younger set. So in other words, uh, UAE nationals that are in their uh, 30s and 40s, for example, uh, that are the, going to be the leading investors in the next 5, 10 years uh, within this, their sectors. So then what I've done is I've created, after the profiles have been created in this part of it I will go to because this is where I've spent a lot of time on is the uh, profile keywords in other words we've got the profile we've done the scraping we know who they are we know they've purchased uh, large amounts of property and other investments uh, and then we can take a look at what their background says for example I've just clicked on one here this particular one most of them, are, uh, by the way, are going to be real estate of some sort because it is a real estate database and that's how we went back into uh, uh, doing the sourcing and using uh, different uh, matters of intelligence to find out who they are, where they came from, what they've done. And in this case here, real estate development, uh, innovative construction, urban development. Um, this one here, retail, hospitality, and uh, real estate general. Uh, this one here, for example, sustainable energy infrastructure projects, green solutions. This doesn't necessarily uh, preclude them from uh, uh, looking at uh, other industries or it means that you need to pigeonhole them into this. It just basically means when we've done our scraping, here's what came out in their profile and here's the keywords related to that. Um, there is a lot of venture capital uh, investors in here, startups as well. Um, but again, a lot of this is going to be real estate related and what makes this valuable a database for corporate and institutional groups. Well, if you're a corporate institutional group looking uh, at larger real estate uh, projects, perfect database to look at. 
or if you have something that's uh, if it's a REIT it's a perfect database as well um, but it just gives you a more what I would call information on that particular uh, uh, individual uh, in order in order to uh, approach them because most people who buy this database are going to take this database then they're going to expand it to the right here with more profile information more data maybe they're going to be able to do uh, LinkedIn searches uh, maybe they're going to be able to do more uh, searches that from what their own databases again and cross-reference them uh, this is a small database 75 uh, 500 uh, is nothing compared to 1.2 million transactions that I have so if you were to set this up with other databases you're going to be able to expand a little bit further now uh, what I've done is I've just provided uh, very basic information on the uh, data uh, the investment amount this is the latest investment amount I've just put X's in here just uh, highlighted or just hidden the amounts but for example we know that this particular investor pur purchased a property worth 2.23 million recently um, or in the past year or a few months it, it depends on how it was set up this one here looks like a eight million seven hundred thousand so you get the idea these all have a value to them um, and the video doesn't need to go back into how I uh, how they were originated in the very beginning got lots of resources for that if somebody's interested again because this is a high profile ultra high net worth high net worth database uh, it is not for just uh, somebody who wants to do uh, general marketing and business development it's again corporate and institutional um, and you can see just by looking at it it's very complete no one is on this list unless they're a verified investor um, or somebody that um, has um, been a developer, invested projects, uh, invested buildings. Uh, for example, this one here is just random. I clipped that real estate and property development. Uh, Alderai Holdings has their own tower, residential, and commercial project in Dubai Marina. So you can see here these are all key leading people. And again, UAE nationals only. Uh, and it complements the royal family database that you saw in the previous slide. So that concludes this particular part of the video. Uh, feel free to contact me if you're a corporate or institutional group and you're looking to acquire the most advanced and comprehensive database of UAE nationals. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in getting more information about this database, contact me on DubaiInvestorsList.com. That's DubaiInvestorsList.com. Please like, share, and subscribe.